My name is Matthew Brennan. I'm a digital modeler with the Virtual World Heritage Laboratory, and I'm here to talk about our process of photographing statues or casts of statues and using those photographs to create a 3D model. We start by taking 100 to 200 photographs all around the statue from every angle. We then load these photographs into a photogrammetry software that registers the photographs to each other and is able to reconstruct geometry representing the statue. We have found Autodesk's 1-2-3D catch to be ideal for this. We call the result the state model. It is a representation of the way the object looks today. In a second step, we then digitally restore the statue to the way it might have looked in antiquity. We use Pixelogic ZBrush to restore elements of the state model that might be missing or damaged. These could include fingers, noses, or arms. We also use ZBrush to restore missing or faded color. The result is a 3D digital model that can be used in various ways. For example, we are able to place it in a digital reconstruction of the space where the statue was originally displayed. Here we see the Amazon Shara displayed at the northern end of the Canopus at Hadrian's Villa. Finally, once the digital model has been restored, we can use a 3D printer to print out a small reproduction of it. 3D prints are useful for a variety of reasons. For example, they facilitate study of the arrangement of statues in their ancient context. Here we have an example. 16 statues of Niobids from Hadrian's Villa. We know they were exhibited in the so-called Stadium Garden, but we don't know which statue was next to which. With 3D prints of the statues, we can easily experiment with different solutions.